Joe's couldn't stay away. Here we go again, some more data life after the exhausting time that Shido had running around trying to maintain all of those dates at once. Yeah, things went really well when there was immediate bloodshed. Little target practice. Considering all the spirits so far haven't exactly been the hardest to deal with. Sure, Toko was a little more proactive in destruction immediately. Not just murderous intent, though. Kurumi being a nightmare, as it were. 10,000 odd kills and that slowly racking up. But ones we've seen so far, maybe they didn't deserve to die, but they weren't exactly upstanding citizens. So at least there is a slight balance to it. I wonder if she actually has morals in what she's doing or if it is just all for fun. Still, she seems to be set out for Shido, not worrying really about who gets in the way. What kind of damage are you actually going to cause? Are we going to have a happy slice of life moment just getting along with your sister and sister? We'll have to find out though. Because we need to dive back in. So grab a drink and let's begin. And with his sister coming in, saving the day, stopping him from resulting in the same path as those uh, gun enthusiasts. But considering she's just coming in and being so thorough with her job, but Taking out spirits. Even in... Even in times like this, still trying to keep everyone safe and alive and fun. Is it something you want to get used to? We've already seen that she's not exactly bothered all too much by the whole death aspect. But how or why she just comes back the next day? I'd like to actually see why. Does she have unlimited revives, or is it more of a... Uh, are there conditions to it all? But considering how she's just up and open to taking lives, and having hers taken as well, does that mean more spirits in the future might actually be in danger if they've got this, this sister out there who is effective at taking them down. What was I saying about Kurumi? Oh, yeah, with her being so open to taking lives and dying, is that going to change how Shido actually approaches this situation? It's not just a classic... Classic, it's been done twice. Uh, Hi, I don't know you, but let's go on a date. And now everything, everything is fine. Yeah, I don't think this one is going to be easily forgotten, even with... much, um, much therapy. So wouldn't it be better to not kill her and keep her contained, if you can? Huh. 
Huh. Uh, was that necessary? Keeping him out of the immediate area. Ah, the cat. Hang on, why is there an earbud here? What mission, huh? He's... Uh, there was a lot of strain in the bathroom. How long is he going to be shaking for? And I guess... Avoiding any sort of questioning by running away is one way of dealing with it. <laughs> so she gets the she gets the hospital bed just to just to nap in. But what if they do? Uh, he did just see multiple people die in front of him and you can be a little a little easier on the boy even if what she's saying is apt and correct if you want to save lives you have to go through with it Yeah, today wasn't exactly the experience and date that they expected. <laughs> ah, there's no time to spare, is there? While there's still light, the day is still young. Just a light snack. Uh huh. Fair, and for it to be. to be that kind of design on the card as well. Makes sense. Of course she would remember. Hmm. And even though. She's been informed by what's going on and why he just kind of kept disappearing. She's not holding anything against him. She's like, okay, fair enough. That makes sense. We'll just try and spend time when possible. Is she going to just say something quite on the surface? What? Interested in him? So he just has to be there to save everyone else. She's lost and needs a another way of looking at things. The amount of times she raised her sword to him and anyone in the vicinity. Is there... A crack in her armour, though. Is there a way through to Karumi at this point? She seems a little further along in the hole. Anything for her goals. Also, I like that they went and redid the first day and got another bread pillow. Kind of needed it, to be fair. Okay, I'm glad that she's now dealing with those three. Otherwise, it would make this conversation a little more difficult. 
no matter what it takes. What a response. Oh, okay then. The whole, I won't let you kill, okay, sure. Does she? The clock is ticking. Does she always have the same time in her eye or is that been changing as well? I haven't actually paid enough attention to that. Ah, uh, she's now out to test him. I mean, we've seen before how far he would go, even to his own demise to try and help, so. What were you thinking? She obviously hasn't done that much that much uh, research into him then if she thinks that he's going in there with no backup no plan I mean okay we shouldn't underest underestimate their intelligence capabilities I mean, she was on the roof not too long ago. Do they not have a camera overviewing the entire the entire area? He was able to withstand it because of what he, you know, his composition slightly. But everyone else, there's just been hit by that weirdness bubble. Hmm. Oh. She has been kept in the dark about this. It is not for her to... to know. It's not in her benefit. It would just make things difficult. In her current state, she's still conscious compared to the rest of them, but... Uh, and so because of that, he's able to withstand a little better. But to be fair, having that just air of effect, everyone's down. Yeah, Karimi could have done that several times. Is it the, the longer that they are under this this gravity, this this density, the more harmed they the more harm they will come to? Oh she's relatively fine as well. Have we seen that she's had the implant there and that's how it all comes to be before? Hmm. Maybe I purposely just blocked that one from my memory if I did see it. I like the colour work of this episode. I'm not sure about the forced sharpening to uh, artefact level. In between all of the uh, the colours, there. 
What was that just now? Did she try and move and flew herself across the floor? She needs a little bit of... I see, her power back in a moment of... moment of need. So... She's all over the place. Is this a part of her whole time mechanic? Sucks the time out of them. Hmm. However... So she keeps needing to replenish it at the expense of everyone else around her. But, you know, if she doesn't use the powers, then I guess normal lifespan, maybe. Yeah, but... Salt? Maybe a few extra condiments? That kind of, that kind of way. What if she doesn't want saving? <laughs> of course he's slightly afraid, but it doesn't mean that he's going to give up his, his plan of trying to save it, no matter what. If you can get him out of that way of thinking. Huh. Right, so that's what this is. <laughs> Stop this nonsense. Stop hurting everyone. I'm still not giving up. Um, what? Ah, uh, yeah, it wasn't a red siren. So the others accidentally causing spacequakes might not be, you know, under their control and whatnot. Her, unfortunately, the opposite. Well, there wouldn't be much left, would there? What, well, and she can have a snack? There won't be anything for her to eat. Is... <laughs> Alright, bet. <laughs> Straight off, no hesitation. Didn't know that she could just teleport and save him, but... Maybe she'll take him a little, a little more seriously now. He won't stop until she, uh... Nice. Until she reverts what she was doing. Still, she did gain a, quite a bit of time from all of that. A new way forward. Start again. Hmm. Relatively being the main, the operative word. <laughs> but what about the other versions of herself that are out with Toka and Origami? I'm glad he isn't putting this down to a vote as well, because the... Most effective times is when he's speaking for himself. Uh, 
Oh, good. Wait, her own hand powers? So in the moment that she was about to give in to hope of change, This is the older, more wizened, possibly jaded variant. Good of you to turn up. She doesn't seem particularly perturbed by having limbs removed. That's cool. Time itself being loaded it. Hmm. Okay, if she can control time, sure. I'll just, uh, I'll just rewind it to the point where I'm not... hadn't been attacked. But is she only killing her constantly because she was allowing it? Does each... <laughs> Does each hour have a different amount of power or ability being put into the bullets? Hmm. Yeah, how do you fight against time itself in any of its... Any of its effects? Did they defeat the other two? Uh, she is so the victim in this this occasion. Considering she just... So all of the other hands were just more hers. Huh. Different time axes. axes. And I guess they're not afraid of hurting themselves to get their their goals. Now we're going back to the space quake. I mean, we know this is going to be stopped because... We can't leave the uh, the boss of the dating scene. It's himself asleep in the classroom, dying to a space quake. Although it definitely no longer seems dangerous. That might put a fawn in her plans. Hmm. Ah, okay. Is that the one that was around when her parents died? Oh dear, so many new issues just cropped up. I originally thought it was some sort of new weapon or ability that the their company had come up with, but if she herself has spiritual powers... Ah. And a big axe. Well, I'm glad that there was a little redo of a happier moment in this one. Going down the arcade. Ordering some bread.
considering that he broke through the shell and got one variant of Kurumi to actually consider changing, consider taking his his offer in his hand of help. It just means that there's a, you know, non-zero chance of it working. You just need to keep pressing through now. Having Mana now have that big danger exposed to us as well, her time span is running out. Her life in the hands of the company which owns her, half her body just being infused with the magic. Great. Things are going so well from the, for them all. Plus, it had a you know, question that I had originally, so where are these space quakes actually coming from? Is it from the spirits themselves when they're being pulled in, or something else that's actually dragging them in and waking them up and causing it? Kurumi being able to instigate and create these space quakes on demand makes it leaning towards more of it's a spirit thing. And with Kurumi's time abilities, is it going to be a thing where she does something drastic and horrid, but then thanks to the will and persistence, really, of Shido, he gets through to her and she has to revert something she's done? Does it affect others other than herself? And how much energy is she going to have to absorb to be able to undo some of the things that she has done in the past? Or might do in the future. But yeah, with so many of them needing saving from one thing or another, whether it be their biology, the view of the spirits in society, or their manical view of the world and how to obtain what the what they want, their goals. Yeah. Shido has a lot on his plate right now. I'm glad that the show kind of steer is steering away from the command center and their help. And more into his, you know, actual thoughts and feelings. And words straight from the heart, which actually affect them. Still, he is like a beacon for all of these spirits, isn't he? They just seem to gather around him. Still, this is so interesting as a show. I want to see more, and I want to see just how much Shido is willing to sacrifice and push through, whether it be himself or anything else, to really kind of uphold his ideals of wanting to save everyone. How strained is that going to be? Hopefully we'll be able to find out. If you've enjoyed this episode, let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. If I've entertained you, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss future ones. But for now, gave yourselves a bit of... a bit of rest. Because there's no time like the present. See you in the next one. My patrons really are the counter spacequakes that have kept my channel safe for all this time. And if you would like to join in without any actual danger to yourself, consider joining onto my Patreon. Be alongside Noku, Sal, Guado, Kite, Raywin, Shiwan, Tori Jane, and everyone else. And thanks to their help, no matter how many times I get taken out, I'm always going to come back.